No, there it goes. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. Believe me when I tell you today's episode will leave you clenching your seats and wanting more when it's done. Without wasting much time, let's jump right into it. Whilst out with his kids, a man came across this clouds on the ground. Now, I don't know how this is possible, but that's what we see. Strange, if you ask me. Naturally, when this popped up online, people were shocked, and that led to some rather interesting theories concerning the footage. Some thought it was part of a government spy aircraft cloud camouflage. Sounds crazy at first, but when you think about it, it's quite possible, wouldn't you agree? Some also proposed an alternative perspective, suggesting that it could be a byproduct of a toxic substance in the sky. This theory raises concerns about environmental and health implications, if that's true, but there's no way of determining that now, is there? After all, some who saw it are dismissing the footage as a hoax, attributing the cloud-like formation to ordinary cotton. Yet upon closer scrutiny, the transparency of the anomaly challenges the notion that it could be a mere cotton formation. Could it be pure CGI, or is there something else at play here? I think I'll leave that up to you to decide. Our next mysterious footage was captured in Scotland, where the forest ground appears to be undulating, almost as if it were breathing. This has left viewers both fascinated and perplexed. The video was recorded after Storm Babette, which brought strong winds to the area and introduces a possible link between the weather conditions and a peculiar phenomenon observed in the forest. Look at how the dog was effortlessly lifted when it stood on the moving earth. <laughs> this is so strange. Some speculate that the storm's impact on the soil and trees contributed to this unusual movement, creating a visual illusion reminiscent of breathing. Some even took a more fantastical approach, saying that the forest is a sleeping giant. Reminds me of the sleeping giant seen from Puss in Boots. In folklore and mythology, various cultures have ascribed spiritual or sentient qualities to nature. The concept of a sleeping giant, in this case, suggests that the forest possesses a dormant or slumbering essence, awakening in a manner reminiscent of breathing. But having seen it with your own eyes, what do you think this could be? This unsuspecting man's encounter with a furry intruder turned out to be a hilarious mix-up. Never did I ever think I would call such an encounter hilarious. But enjoy. Fucking raccoons. Get in my trash can. Oh my god, that's a bear. A man heard some noises outside his house where the trash cans were. Thinking it was a raccoon, he went out to confront the animal, but to his surprise, it was a bear rummaging through the garbage. Reacting swiftly, he hurried back indoors, realizing that dealing with a bear was an entirely different situation. I can only imagine the mixture of surprise, amusement, and perhaps a hint of terror at that moment. It's a classic case of mistaken identity. Nature has its way of reminding us of who truly rules the backyard, and from this footage, we can clearly see that mankind is merely a steward. Here's to our trash panda friend creating chaos and providing a good chuckle in the process. Have you ever had unexpected wildlife encounters in your backyard? Please share. What the fuck is that? In Melbourne, Australia, a contractor spotted this in the sky. It was a luminous orb in the sky. Seeing such a thing naturally made him curious, but it was not until he had captured the image and zoomed in that things took an unexpected turn. The revelation of what appeared to be a doorway on the luminous orb. As with any unexplained phenomena, speculations run wild. Some propose the idea of a blue beam projection, a technology that projects holographic images into the sky, while others delve into the possibility of a portal existing within the luminous orb. 
The concept of a portal suggests an opening to another dimension or realm, leaving the imagination to wonder what the potential destinations could be. Skeptics, on the other hand, consider the likelihood of the entire spectacle being carefully orchestrated hoax, a product of advanced technology or visual manipulation. What do you think? That's crazy, man. What the fuck? A man while at the beach at an unknown location was live on social media. When this happened, he saw this massive creature in the sea. Estimated to be between 20 to 25 feet in length, the creature was seen swimming toward the beach. The waves somehow appeared to act as a barrier preventing it from getting too close to the shore. The situation drew the attention of the police who arrived at the scene along with a gathering of curious onlookers. The sheer size of the creature has left many intrigued. Some propose that it could be a species of shark or whale, while others think it might just be another species that's less commonly seen near the shore. However, without additional details about the location and the more detailed analysis of the footage, it remains challenging to definitely identify the sea creature. There's bound to be someone here who knows what this is. If that's you, please do educate us in the comments section. We'll be reading. This next footage was also taken by an unknown woman at an undisclosed location. I'm not quite sure what this is about, but this cloud keeps flickering red. In it, we see a specific section of the clouds illuminated in a vibrant red hue, prompting varied interpretations from viewers. Several netizens have put forth different explanations for the phenomenon. Some propose that the red glow could be a result of lights from buildings below reflecting on the clouds. On the other hand, a section of those who saw it propose another theory, suggesting that this occurrence might be linked to the oil industry. Specifically, some propose that it could be the result of flaring, the controlled burning of unwanted gas in oil fields, a practice that can cause clouds to glow. Conspiracy theories also make an appearance here, with claims ranging from chemical interventions to extraterrestrial involvement. To an extent, those sound far-fetched even for me, but what do you think? During a routine plane journey, a vigilant passenger observed a perplexing phenomenon through the aircraft's windows. A luminous unidentified flying object caught his attention as it gracefully navigated beneath the plane's wing. According to him, this went on for at least 10 minutes until, in an unexpected turn, the UFO initiated a deceleration and gradually descended until it eventually disappeared into the vast expanse of the sky. What are your thoughts on this mysterious encounter? Do you lean toward a more conventional explanation or find yourself intrigued by the possibility of otherworldly phenomena sharing the airspace with commercial flights? Tell us in the comments section. If you haven't already hit the like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment so far, could you please do so now? It goes a long way to help us make more videos like this for you. Thank you so much. Now back to today's episode. The mysterious and often perplexing question of what awaits us after death has fueled human curiosity for centuries. This next clip was captured by a hospital ward security camera. In it, we see a sick woman lying in her bed when a sudden and unexplained event takes place. A glowing arm extends toward her. For the family, this glowing arm wasn't just an ordinary phenomena. They interpret this luminous arm as that of an angel, a celestial being that has come to guide the departed soul to its next destination. A realm often associated with notions of heaven and religious beliefs. Looking at this, everything within my gut says otherwise, but who am I to argue with the grieving family? But do indulge me, what are your thoughts on this? There have been reports flooding in from all corners of Oklahoma about sightings of strange and mysterious luminous objects illuminating the night sky. 
The ambiguity surrounding these sightings fuels a range of theories. Some individuals posit that these luminous objects could be experimental aircraft or drones, possibly of military origin. Others entertain the notion of otherworldly visitors or advanced technological entities exploring the skies. Local communities and the broader public are left to ponder the significance of these sightings. Whether these phenomena are rooted in classified military activities, natural atmospheric occurrences, or something beyond our current understanding. I know you want my views on it, but my team and I are doing some digging around for evidence. We'll have a full video explaining these things coming up soon, and you wouldn't want to miss that, trust me. In this riveting footage, a group on a boat expedition through the forest stumble upon a celestial enigma. However, hovering in the skies was a dark ethereal mass reminiscent of smoke surrounded by a flurry of birds. The air was thick with intrigue, and the observers must have felt a shiver of awe and wonder. Could this mysterious floating entity be a natural phenomenon, a play of light and shadow, or does it harbor a more supernatural essence? Some might speculate on atmospheric conditions, while others might entertain the possibility of an otherworldly presence. What are your thoughts on this puzzling encounter, smoke signals from the cosmos, or nature's dance of light and shade? In this next footage, a group of men are seen holding a man down. The man appears to be struggling with them. It almost looks like he's floating in mid-air, but the men are holding him down. Immediate thoughts are towards the supernatural. Could this man be possessed or subject to some mysterious force? As our investigation lens delves deeper into the subject, a fascinating revelation emerges. It turns out that the initial perplexing scene is a result of clever video manipulation. The footage has been artfully reversed. The mysterious aura surrounding the situation dissipates as we uncover the meticulous editing that has taken place. I must say, they almost got me there. <laughs> Encounters with wildlife, especially bears, can be unpredictable and potentially dangerous, and this footage highlights it better than most. <laughs> Our hiker here was attacked by a bear cub. Fortunately for him, he knew what to do and screamed. He also had a stick, which he attempted to use in scaring the bear away, but this creature did not budge. The little guy rather pounced at the hiker and caught the stick between its jaws. It took the hiker a while to get the cub to leave him alone, but he eventually did. It's essential for individuals exploring areas inhabited by wildlife to be aware of the potential risks so they can take appropriate precautions. Maintaining a safe distance and avoiding confrontation is crucial when dealing with wild animals, especially mothers with cubs, as they can be protective and territorial. Let's just say this man is lucky Mama Bear was not around, because if she was, this may have been another kind of video, if you know what I mean. The discovery of these mysterious tunnels around the world has sparked both curiosity and speculation. These enigmatic passageways, concealed in various forms, ranging from sewer-like openings to holes in city streets, have captured the attention of explorers and conspiracy theorists alike. Some explorers have stumbled upon fully furnished structures with electricity. The condition of these spaces varies, with some appearing untouched while others bear signs of abandonment. While some believe that these discoveries might be genuine underground utilities or storage spaces, others are very convinced that they belong to an interconnected subterranean world. That sounds exciting, but what are your thoughts on these underground mysteries? Do you think there's a vast network connecting them, or is it more likely a mix of utility tunnels and urban legends? No, there it goes. Finally, I knew I shouldn't go in. Everything was telling me not to go in that I needed to be recording. 
In Winston-Salem, a woman came out one evening for some fresh air when she noticed something strange going on with the clouds. Lights were blinking on and off behind the clouds. She said initially the clouds with the lights blinking were above her head. The lights, which were initially blue, changed color as they moved further ahead of her. The color changed to orange. As weird as this is, it was not the weirdest part. There was a long, lingering, heavy feeling that they just couldn't get rid of. This mysterious event leaves both the observer and curious onlookers grappling with various questions. What could be the source of these peculiar lights behind the clouds? Is it a natural phenomenon, an atmospheric anomaly, or perhaps something more enigmatic? These are questions we may never truly have official answers to, but in the meantime, feel free to share your thoughts. Just a quick reminder before the next clip comes, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed, could you do so right now? Thank you very much. Have you heard about the eerie incident that recently occurred in Eastern Bull? The whole city plunged into darkness during the day, and not for just a moment, but a whopping five minutes. And that's not the most bizarre of things that day. It turns out the whole thing was caused by a giant black cloud measuring a whopping 10 kilometers in size. How often do you see that? What on earth could cause such a mysterious blackout? Well, there are several factors that could potentially lead to a temporary blockage of sunlight, such as an unusual weather phenomenon, environmental factors, or even a large object passing in front of the sun. This appears to be one of those situations. That's assuming the whole thing is real and not a hoax. This man was cruising alone, filming himself, when suddenly a massive creature appeared in the water. And I'm not talking about your average fish here. We are talking big, like really big. Encountering a large creature in the water during a boat ride can be both thrilling and unnerving. When you are, however, not sure of what you're dealing with, it can be alarming, and that was the case of the man in question. He couldn't help but wonder if he had encountered an anaconda or another colossal aquatic being. For those unfamiliar with them, anacondas are large, non-venomous snakes that are known for their impressive size and strength. They're often found in aquatic habitats, which makes it possible that he had actually encountered one. In such a scenario, it's important to exercise caution and ensure safety. No unnecessary actions that will endanger you. While anacondas are generally not aggressive towards humans, it's essential to avoid provoking or approaching them closely. An anaconda sounds exciting, but is it really one though? What are your thoughts? Next, we have footage from a trail camera that captured this strange creature, and people can't seem to figure out what the creature is. The creature in question has a pair of glassy, glowing eyes and a pig-like nose. Its skin is pale, and it has shoulders that look humanoid. The rest of its body is not captured by the camera lens, leaving it up to our imagination. Though we cannot make out the creature, people have come out with ideas, and the most recurring answer, Mothman. For those unfamiliar with him, the Mothman is a cryptid that gained notoriety in West Virginia during the 1960s. He's often described as a humanoid figure with large wings. While the image captured by the trail camera doesn't reveal the creature's wings or the lowest part of its body, the peculiar characteristics mentioned have sparked associations with Mothman. Personally, I really want the capture to be the Mothman, but then again, anything is possible these days, so I'd want your take on this as well. What do you think we're dealing with here? In Germany, a peculiar incident was captured on camera as a blue ray of light descended from the sky. The phenomenon occurred against the backdrop of the night sky, with the ray shooting down toward Earth. Some viewers suggested that it could be a directed energy weapon, a type of weapon that directs concentrated energy toward a target. The technology is often associated with advanced military systems and considered classified. Thankfully though, this footage managed to make its way into the public domain. In the footage, we see it pointed to an area with houses all around. If this theory is to be believed, that thing is dangerous and human lives are at risk. The footage, however, shows no sign of chaos or destruction. Either it's not fired yet, or the theory is wrong. 
If it's wrong, then the next theory is that it could be a laser from quantum satellite communication research. There are also some who think it's neither of these and it's simply a part of Project Bluebeam. What do you think? Buckle up for a celestial mystery straight from a road trip. Imagine catching a stunning sunset on camera only to realize you've got not one, but two suns stealing the limelight. Double trouble or double wonder, you decide. That's what happened to the one who captured this, but as you can see, one was orange and the other was a white orb with an orange hue around it. Beyond these basic descriptions, there are some who noticed a few things that could explain this. One observation was that it was a reflection. You can see because of the power lines that go through it. Seeing this, some propose that the whole thing could be attributed to a hypothetical planet X, suggesting the celestial body getting closer. What do you also think? This next clip has nothing to do with trail cams, but all the things to do with the paranormal. Take a look. At the start, the camera zooms in on a really cool bunch of trees that you'd expect from a typical woodland area. But in just a few seconds, things get super weird. Out of nowhere in this forest, a strange figure appears. It's like something from another world, all strange and mysterious, and it's high up on a tree. At first glance, this figure looks kind of like a person, but its features are all blurry and hard to make out. If you saw this in real life, you'd probably get some severe chills. Now, here's the kicker. This is a screen recording of footage from Google Maps, at least the uploader claims it is. This has left people arguing about what's truly going on in the video. Some believe it's a supernatural being, while others believe it's just utterly ridiculous. According to them, there's no way Google Maps or Street could capture things in the forest. Sounds logical, but is anyone with experience with these apps? Is capturing something like this even possible with the app? Please tell us in the comment section. Have you watched the movie Jurassic Park? If you haven't, then I must say I'm very shocked and surprised. If you have, though, then you've just seen how terrifying dinosaurs can be and look like. This next footage is like a nightmare and a dream come true all at once. Now let's examine the silhouette of this flying creature, if we can even call it a bird. Yes, this flying creature has wings and a beak, but doesn't it remind you of the flying dinosaurs from Jurassic Park? The ones that attack planes and snatch humans from the sky. The pterodactyl is what they're called. Discussions about the existence of dinosaurs have persisted for years supported by fossil evidence. However, they're widely believed to be extinct. Some don't think so because of the hollow earth theory. Many believe they exist in a million hiding. Could this be one of those many who were in hiding, or is this video a hoax? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section. There are theories that before the human race, there were beings that roamed the earth, some half human and half animal. These beings were later worshipped as gods on earth. So when scientists discovered this mummy locked in a box in a Japanese temple, they were curious to find out what this creature could be. Obviously, they could see that the creature was half human and half fish. But how? Despite probing and researching and asking questions, they can't find any scientific basis for the existence of this creature. This leaves us with questions. Could it be a spiritual being materialized, which is why they can't find anything on it, or are we looking at an elaborate hoax passed down for centuries? Well, no one knows for sure. Before you watch the next clip, could you please hit the like button, subscribe, and even drop a comment if you haven't already. It goes a long way to make it possible to create more videos like this for you. Thank you for doing so. Moving back to the day's episode, is nature now playing magic tricks on us? A man was driving by a field when he noticed something strange. As he looked through his window, he saw a brush burning, so he parked to check it out. But that's where things get odd. When he looked out this time, the fire was gone. When he went back into the car and looked out through his glass window, he noticed the fire. But when he tried to use his naked eyes, there was simply nothing there. I mean, how is this even possible? 
The thing is, well, we don't know, but even David Blaine could never stop or explain this strange phenomenon. Still on the bizarre and unexplainable, watch this footage. In the footage, we see a raccoon in its natural habitat that appears to be going about its business. Unbeknownst to the little critter, it walked within the field of view of a trail camera set up in that deserted part of a forest. The raccoon, oblivious to the fact that it's being spied on, is foraging for food like it would any other day. As cute as this little critter is, pay attention to the top left side of the screen. Do you see it? Do you see it? A set of lights appears from nowhere and quickly disappears as soon as they appear. They're reminiscent of airplane lights, but the area where the footage was taken from is no flight zone. So, if it was not an airplane, where are those lights coming from? Could it have been from an alien spaceship? And if they were indeed from an aircraft, why the sudden disappearance? Did they notice they were being watched? So many questions and so few answers. Can you help? Can you clarify what's going on for us? There have been sayings that animals are more sensitive to the spiritual and paranormal. I don't know how true it is, but this footage might just be the proof we need for that theory. A man was playing outside with his dog when he noticed something strange. A transparent figure playing along with his dog. As the man walks into the yard, however, the play date ends. The apparition manifests itself as it passes by the dog and disappears as though it were trying to make sure the owner didn't see it. The creature's size indicates that it's not human, probably a ghost dog or something far more sinister. Have you encountered anything like this or is there a logical explanation for the whole thing? We'd love to know. Now, what do we have here? Some possessed insect? Well, that's what I thought when I saw it, but turns out this creature is what we call a wasp mantid fly. Just imagine a wasp and a praying mantis deciding to have a bizarre love child. That's the wasp mantid fly for you. It's got the sleek, slender body of a wasp, but those front legs, pure mantis vibes. It looks like the insect world decided to experiment with genetic fusion just to keep things interesting. But here's where it gets even more fascinating. This critter is a bit of a predator, with the taste for small insects and larvae. When it's mealtime, it goes all ninja with those mantis-like legs snatching up its prey with precision. But wait, there's more. The wasp mantid fly has a neat trick up its sleeve. It's able to mimic the appearance of wasps, rocking the yellow and black colors to confuse both predators and unsuspecting prey. Let's just say that if you lived in the insect world, this would be the last creature you would want to encounter. Whilst we try to find answers to the previous footage, I believe that the next footage will leave your jaw dropping to the ground. And I mean literally. A person found these strange things floating around his brother's house. They looked like smoke, but they were oddly luminous and in weird shapes. The thing, however, is that they seemed like they were frozen in time, and you and I know that's not how smoke looks or functions. According to him, they suddenly appeared in the house. When you study the footage, there's no justification for something like that existing. The man swears it's not a hoax and certainly not CGI because they don't have the expertise, skills, or money for that. So what do you think we're dealing with here? We normally hear about cases of children being born with two heads and one torso, a rare medical phenomenon. But have you ever considered that similar occurrences might happen in the animal kingdom as well? Well, let this clip do the talking. Enjoy the footage. Recorded by a woman who's utterly amazed, this footage captures a deer peacefully grazing on grass. The sight was just serene, beautiful, and therapeutic. She decides to film the whole thing, but that's when she notices something astonishing. The deer she's filming has two heads and one torso. While it's difficult to fathom, this isn't the first instance of such a phenomenon. There have been records of such occurrences in the animal kingdom. 
As she ponders the mystery, she soon realizes that there's no mystery at all. The footage is nothing but the result of a visual illusion. There are actually two deer in the picture, but the positioning of the two animals and the perspective of the trail cam capturing the image makes it look like one creature. But imagine a two-headed deer. The sight and thought of it is crazy, right? Now let's dive into a classic Canadian tale that's been circulating for quite some time. Picture this, a tranquil Canadian lake, the kind of place where you'd go for a peaceful day out. But here's the twist. Beneath that calm surface lies a mystery that's kept locals buzzing for ages. Enter the mysterious creature, the one that doesn't fit into any neat category. It's not a whale, not your typical fish, and certainly not your everyday lake dweller. This creature has earned itself the affectionate name Ago Pogo, and it's said to be a resident of British Columbia's Okanagan Lake. Now, when we talk about Ago Pogo, we're dealing with something a bit elusive, to say the least. Descriptions of this creature tend to be as murky as the lake waters it calls home. But here's what we've got. A glimpse of its rear end, complete with a long, fish-like tail that gracefully sways through the water. Is the Ogopogo a living relic, a holdover from a prehistoric era, or just a quirky legend akin to the Loch Ness Monster? The truth is, we don't know, but we hope both these creatures are real, or at least one is. Kangaroos are such bullies in wildlife. They will just grab onto anything that comes toward them. Take a look at the situation here. A man went out with his three dogs when he realized one was missing. He went searching for it when he spotted it in the river under the tight grip of a kangaroo. He held onto the dog's neck so tightly in the water that the dog was getting out of breath. Luckily, the owner came right on time to rescue his pet, but not after his phone got smacked into the water and the kangaroo attempted to attack him as well. But he did come out safely with all three dogs, except for one panting for breath, and the owner ended up with a few scratches from the kangaroo's claws. Our next footage is one of the reasons why we shouldn't mess around in the woods. This video was taken by an adventurer who went into the woods at night. I don't know about the reason why he did this, but I'm sure he's never going near the forest for a while. As he was roaming, he caught sight of this hideous creature in the woods. The creature had strange burnt-like skin. Its fingers were clawed and its ears were pointed. I don't know, but if you ask me, it looks like some sort of demonic dwarf. Naturally, our adventurer who saw this creature did not waste any more time there. He left as fast as his tired legs would allow him. I mean, who knows what else was roaming the woods, and who knows what their response to his presence could be. Either way, does any of you know with certainty what this is, or do I need to hit the paranormal books? This next capture looks normal at first glance, but a second and third look and you'd realize that there's nothing normal about it. Take a look. We first met with what looks like a coyote. You look closely and realize that although it does look like a coyote, it has features that are somewhat reminiscent of a wolf. Despite the blend of features, it's not a coy wolf either. You look at its eyes and you realize that they're not a normal color you'd expect from such a canine. It almost looks possessed as though there was some other entity possessing its body, or perhaps another being had shapeshifted and taken its form. A mother doe used to hang around the trail cam where this was captured until this evil thing started showing up. Am I just being paranoid or do you see it too? Please say something in the comments section because <laughs> this is just weird. This next trail cam image was captured during the eerie hours of the night, a time when the unknown often comes alive. Take a look. In the midst of this seemingly desolate setting, an unexpected presence emerges. Is this a cryptid? Could it be Bigfoot or perhaps a pale and ghostly humanoid figure? Well, not exactly. A golden light graces the night sky, offering a unique sight. It takes the form and appearance of an orb which only leaves many questions. 
If you're new to this channel, you might probably be wondering what I'm going on about. If you're a veteran here, you know orbs in the night are usually a sign of spiritual and supernatural activity. One question remains, though. Is this one such activity, or is there a more logical explanation for this? Share your thoughts with us. The trail cam owner was startled when he came across an image on his device. Not knowing what it was, he posted the image to Facebook hoping to get the opinion of others. The picture in question is this image that you see on your screen. You can see a dog-like creature standing on its two legs. The creature had a pair of eerily glowing eyes and was staring straight into the camera. Facebook users were left with a flood of theories on what this could be. While others held the notion that it was a dogman, others said this could be a possessed canine and some truly believed it was a goblin of sorts. So what do you guys also think this is? What a man thought would be some quality bonding time with his son ended with them running out of the woods in terror. This man had gone walking with his little boy in the woods. As they had settled in an area just enjoying nature, the man heard some footsteps behind him. So he took out his camera and started looking around. That is when he caught a glimpse of a dark figure a feet away from them. The man didn't see what it was, but something in him just told him to get the hell out of there. Without wasting time, he told his son to start running while he followed behind. They ran for a while and came to a stop. When he looked back, he saw that the dark figure was still after them, but luckily they had put a safe distance between them and it. To this day, no one knows what was there, but the man's instincts proved that whatever it was, it was not safe to be around it. Next, we have a trail cam footage that was captured on a cold winter day in the woods by someone who was seemingly scared out of his wits. Have a look. Within this wintry scene captured by the uploader emerges a towering and enigmatic figure, its dark fur juxtaposed against the pale landscape. For some unknown reason, however, it appears to be upset and this entity vents its apparent frustration upon a tree shaking it vigorously. The strength exuded by the being makes the tree look like it's nothing but some plastic object. I mean, the strain could even lead to the breaking of the branches entwined with it. Analyzing this mysterious creature's physical attributes, it bears a striking resemblance to an ape, albeit of colossal proportions far exceeding those of a typical primate. So what could we be dealing with here? A singular explanation comes to the forefront. We're witnessing none other than the Bigfoot. Realizing this, the uploader of the footage left its territory and made his way to a safer place. We've shared a lot of Bigfoot footage, and today we won't be asking if you think this is real or not. Instead, we want you to know what you'd do if you ever encountered one. Next, we have captivating footage that unveils a meticulously nurtured environment where lush trees have flourished beautifully and new plants are sprouting with life. At first glance, you might assume that this video clip is simply an ode to the wonders of nature. However, that assumption couldn't be farther from the truth. As my eyes wandered through the abundance of greenery in this video, a dark figure caught my attention from a distance. Gradually, it makes its way deeper into the heart of the woods. It's not immediately conspicuous in the early segments of the video. How did the paranormal community handle the footage, you ask? Well, speculations arose, with some suggesting that this enigmatic entity could be an orangutan. Yet upon closer examination, the size, appearance, fur color, and head shape of the creature in question bear no resemblance to that of an orangutan. There is only one plausible explanation for this. Bigfoot. Yes, you read it right, Bigfoot captured on camera. The serene surroundings, coupled with the remote location of the sighting, add to the credibility of this astounding encounter. Could it truly be the elusive creature known as Bigfoot? This is where we invite you to share your thoughts and theories on this captivating sighting. We'll be reading the comments. 
Imagine buying a pet turtle and coming home one day to see it floating above your tiled floor. What on earth is this, and are animals now learning spells too? If you look closely around its legs, you may see what looks like rags holding them. But look again, do you see it now? They look like many humans swimming with it. Are these the beings responsible for the strange things that we are seeing? Or is the turtle their master and they're simply there to do what it desires? It's hard to say and we couldn't find anything of this sort in our paranormal books. Can anyone amongst you help us with any explanation? This diver just looked at death in the face and I mean literally. She had strapped on her diving suit and was a second away from jumping into the sea when she spotted a huge creature emerging from the water. She backed down and moved backwards, only to see a huge shark with its mouth wide open waiting for her to jump right in. Thankfully, quick thinking and a sixth sense saved her from going on an involuntary shark date. It's like a real-life thriller, a diver who dodged jaws. Note to self, sometimes it's okay to bail on that daring dive if your gut says, no, well, yeah, maybe not today. Imagine throwing your shoe into the sky and instead of falling like we would all expect, it vanishes. It might sound like a magical trick or a fictional tale. Well, this happened to a group of men in Brazil. This group of men were having a guy's night out in an outdoor bar when they noticed a mysterious shining object in the sky. At first glance, you would think it's just a star, but just wait and see what happens. Two of them decided to investigate, and one brave soul daringly removed his slipper and threw it at the shiny object. Incredibly, the slipper vanishes into thin air. Even more astonishing was that the shiny object they were studying suddenly took off, sending the entire group into a frenzy. As you can witness, they were all shouting and scrambling away in fear. What do you think they saw? Some kind of fairy or what? And who can explain how the slipper just vanished? Once again, we're faced with a spectacle that leaves us questioning Mother Nature. A boat that set sail to catch fish came across a mysterious passenger. This invited passenger came disguised as a catfish, but when one of the men aboard went poking at it, this so-called catfish, instead of fins, had crab claws. Realizing this is not a typical member of the ocean dwellers, the man decided to push the fish back into the water. But it looked like it actually enjoyed being out of the water and wanted to teach the man a lesson or two before going back. Now the question is, what type of fish are we dealing with here? I mean, it's not every day you see a fish with crab claws for fins, so how is this even possible? Unless this is a species on its own, or a mudfish and a crab interbred, I don't know what the logical explanation for this could be. Do you? A man captured something strange going on outside his house on his security camera. It all began when he spotted a dark figure standing in the middle of the road opposite his house. This dark figure looks like a person on a black road. As this stranger stood there facing the house, a car light began to reflect, indicating that a car was approaching. Naturally, he expected the strange person to get off the road, but the person just stood there unmoving until something bizarre happened. The car passed right through it, making the homeowner alarmed. However, the dark figure was still in place. Disturbed by what he'd seen, the homeowner came out to see for himself, which he figured was still there. Unfortunately, or rather fortunately, as soon as he steps out, the entity disappears. If it had not been caught on camera, no one would believe him. The camera captures a moment so subtle and quiet that it would even make a whisper feel as loud as a plate dropping. Have a look. Out of nowhere, a figure suddenly appears moving fast towards who knows where. 
This mysterious thing looks almost like a ghost, with legs as long as that of an ostrich or maybe a flamingo. Looking closely, you realize it doesn't have an upper body. Its body is almost like that of a spider's web hanging in the air. Despite looking odd and weird, it's in a hurry, moving forward confidently, almost like it's invincible. Now, the big question is, where is this strange thing going and what could possibly explain its existence? Is it some kind of spooky creature, or is it just someone playing dress up the Halloween? If it's the latter, then the person who came up with this costume definitely deserves the Costume Maker of the Year Award. For all the brave Ghostbusters out there, the question remains, what in the world is this thing that's so hard to describe? If you're enjoying this episode and haven't hit the like and subscribe buttons already, this would be a good time to do so. Thank you for doing so, it means a lot. Let's dial it down a notch and get right into the heart of this intriguing story. A man is out on his property, minding his own business, when he hears some rather strange noises coming from the woods. Naturally curious, he decides to pull out his camera and start recording just in case he stumbles upon something interesting. As he bounds his camera through the trees, what does he spot? Well, it's not your everyday woodland critter, <laughs> that's for sure. It's more like an enigmatic creature lurking in the shadows, adding an air of mystery to the scene. Now, here's the kicker. This isn't the first time our property owner has sensed something unusual out there. He's noticed peculiar movements and heard strange sounds that are a bit of a head-scratcher. It's like a mix between a dog's bark and a child's voice, and it's enough to raise an eyebrow or two. So naturally, the debate rages on. Some folks are quick to label it as a sighting of the legendary Bigfoot, while others are intrigued by that dog-like sound and think it might be the infamous Dogman. What's clear is that this is one of those puzzles that keeps us guessing, trying to figure out what exactly we're dealing with. Is it a Bigfoot, Dogman, or something entirely different? You tell us. The rate at which mythical creatures are making an appearance these days is alarming. In this footage, a man filmed two men in yellow protective gear from head to toe coming toward a river. The men were holding a net, but their attire was not something you would wear to a fishing trip unless something fishy was going on. So the person filming hid himself as he watched the men walk into the shallow part of the water to retrieve something. They caught it in the net and brought it to land. As they put the creature down, something curious happened. A long fishtail resembling that of a stereotypical mermaid fell down. Did these men just catch a mermaid? Looking at the color of its tail, I'm tempted to ask what if the creature and things we saw in the Little Mermaid are not as unreal as we think they are? What if these creatures are actually out there and a danger to us? The woods seem to get more dangerous as the days go by, and even hiking alone has become a problem. I know you would be wondering why I'm saying that. To answer, let's take a look at this next clip. Out in the woods, a hiker found himself lost and trying to navigate his way back when he noticed something approaching. Assuming it was a panther, he decided to hide. However, as the creature drew nearer, it turned out to be something even more perplexing. The creature had a face that resembled a dog, a long snout and dark fur. What made it peculiar was its posture. It was standing on its hind legs. Lucky it seemed preoccupied and didn't notice the hiker just a few steps away. What type of creature could that be? Naturally, a dog, man or a werewolf comes to mind. This fortunate hiker went out innocently for a walk, but for his keen observation skills, he would never have returned home. And that leaves us asking one simple question. Are we not safe hiking anymore? As if we haven't had enough surprises for today, take a look at this footage taken by a drone. It looks like some sort of chamber built between a mountain. It looks like some kind of hideout, but the real question is, who built it and for what reason? 
Some skeptics believe it's a Bigfoot lair, while others think it's some kind of alien hideout. Some also believe it's the Ancient Ones, and while we can't verify any of these claims, it's evident that whatever built the place must have been pretty smart to come up with something like this. Paranormal critics say it was built as a safe chamber during the World War era, and that there's nothing special about it. Others state it's a tourist site, but don't mention where. So, before I jump on the boat and declare my stand, can any of you confirm whether this is a well-known location or if it is indeed a newly discovered and alien location? We'll be reading the comments. At this point, the presence of extraterrestrials should not even be shocking to us anymore. Just take a look at this footage taken in California of the sky. Can you see the night sky lit up from the lights of what looks like some kind of aircraft? It looks like a craft detaching itself from another craft. The shapes of the two crafts are highlighted in the sky from the lights on them. Looking at how fast the craft is moving, you can tell that it's not something that was created through human engineering. It feels like, dare I say it, an alien aircraft. A few weeks ago, I would have laughed and called this fake, but currently, I can't do so anymore. Could this be actual aliens? Is this thing even real? Are we in imminent danger? You know what? Never mind. I think I'm losing my bearing when it comes to these alien videos. But do tell me, what do you think? Oh my goodness, humanity is doomed. Just take a look at this footage. If you've not seen the movie Life, then you'll not understand why I'm panicking. This dark mass attempting to swallow the crab, and it reminds me of Calvin from the movie. I mean, it just looks the same. Fingers crossed that it's just a case of internet trickery, because if not, we might be looking at a real-life remake of Life, and that's a horror scenario none of us have signed up for. Naturally, I did some digging around and discovered that there's a possibility of it being a marine flatworm. If you don't know anything about these creatures, perhaps you may want to go back and look them up now before you find yourself exclaiming, We are Venom. On that note, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed to the channel yet, please do so now before I send that creature after you. On a more serious note, it really helps us out a ton and gives us the opportunity to keep making these videos for you. Please do so and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you very much. All right, hold up. Are we witnessing the return of medieval shenanigans or what? Forget humans wrestling humans. Apparently, we're going back to the days when folks grappled with bears for kicks. Two beings, one human, one bear, having what seems like the weirdest play date ever. And get this, they both looked like they were having a blast. It's like a bizarre version of Fight Club, where the first rule is apparently have fun. Now, call me crazy, but I thought we'd moved on from wrestling with bears. Wasn't that a thing in medieval times when boredom levels were off the charts? But here we are in the 21st century with what looks like a bear-human wrestling match for sheer amusement. I guess we've not seen it all yet. Though I don't approve, you have to admit it's impressive that the man was able to hold the weight of the creature as long as he did. And for our penultimate video clip, we have a bit of a creepy situation. Enough of the talking, let's look at the content. The image you're currently viewing was captured by a young girl who was sitting by another woman. Initially, they paid no attention to the picture. However, upon reviewing it later, they made a spine-chilling discovery. Above the young girl's head, an additional head appears to be floating in the image. In my view, it resembles the visage of an elderly man, his eyes hauntingly vacant. Could this possibly be the spirit of a loving grandparent drawn from the afterlife to share a fleeting moment with his cherished granddaughter? However, upon closer examination, the ethereal visage of a grandpa figure appears remarkably well-crafted, almost akin to skillful CGI. Nonetheless, the uncanny nature of the image remains, inducing an eerie unease that's hard to shake. Still speaking of the dead, these guys from the YouTube channel Hunting the Dead hope to venture into the woods with guidance from the infamous Randonautica app. 
Just in case you didn't know about it, the Randonautica app generates random coordinates, often directing users to eerie destinations like graveyards and abandoned houses. This time, however, it led these guys to a road where they found a doll under the rock. Now, if you know about Annabelle and Chucky, you know that this is already a red flag and a sign to back down. But from the name of their channel, it's obvious these guys are going to take the doll with them. In their vehicle, they used a spirit box to communicate with the doll, recording their questions and its eerie responses. One question loomed. Was the doll inhabited by a spirit? To their astonishment, the answer came in a chilling yes. I'm gonna attach to this doll, like my friend thinks. <laughs> what? Is it yes? Common sense might have dictated they return the doll then and there, but driven by curiosity, they pressed on, firing off more inquiries as they carried the unsettling doll back to their home. A decision that, in my view, could be described as a considerable misstep. I just hope they're okay and that nothing odd and weird is happening to them. If you ever come across something like this, avoid it like the plague. We want you healthy and fine. Nature's throwing us another curveball, and this time it's ants staging a weird forest dance. Imagine stumbling upon this oddity in the heart of the woods, a bunch of ants locked in a mysterious circle, all hustling around a peculiar white stone. Now, animals are like Mother Nature's early warning system, right? So when you spot ants behaving like they just discovered the insect version of a dance floor, it's bound to raise some eyebrows. They're all in this circular hustle, seemingly fixated on a white stone at the center, and there's the strange white fluid on the grass, adding an extra layer of intrigue. What's the deal, Mother Nature? Is this an ant rave or a secret insect council meeting? Are they summoning ant deities, or is it just an oddly organized ant picnic? A taxi driver was parked on the side of the road when something scares him out of his car. Initially, he was making a phone call when he saw something in the rearview mirror moving behind him. Being the only one in the car, he quickly turned to look at what it was, and there he saw his answer, the ghostly face of a child looking back at him. The face was pale and had dark circles around its eyes. Once he saw what he saw, the scared man rushed out of the car. Fortunately, or not, the security camera in the car was on, so it captured the ghostly intruder. When he finally mustered the courage to go back to the vehicle, he reviewed the footage and asked the paranormal experts online for clarity. So what do you think? Still on strange and unidentifiable creatures, this next trail cam capture will surely shock you. We travel back in time to the year 2008 in Montauk, Long Island, New York. Have a look. There's no way that creature is normal. It appears to have a beak like a bird does and a furless body with the features of that of a dog and its size also matching that of a dog's. The uploaders stated they found this at the beach and everyone who saw this in 2008 believed it was real. Looking at it in 2023, well, not so much. Even the flawed yet impressive AI tools of this year can generate more photorealistic images than this. I'm starting to believe the uploaders did this for clout, and boy, did they get some. Their post went everywhere, including newspapers. Did you hear about it then? What did you think about it when you heard it? Tell us in the comment section. This is another footage of a YouTuber who ventured into an abandoned church to check it out. If you're regular on this channel, then you know things didn't go exactly as planned. Instead of a supernatural encounter, he stumbled on something quite disturbing. Tombs. Tempered tombs. The curious YouTuber got a closer look at the tombs, and in the broken coffins were the remains of the deceased on display. This is usually the work of tomb raiders who open tombs to steal jewelry and anything of value in them. Creepy, I know. Although this is not as scary as the previous footage, it's still very creepy with all those bones lying there exposed. Don't you think so? This footage was recorded with the camera focused on the rear view mirror of a car that was being driven on a deserted road that was sandwiched by woodland.
While driving, the driver spared a glance at the monitor in the car and everything seemed normal at first, but in a few moments, something strange began to move from a distance. As the thing got closer, it started to take form. It bore an uncanny resemblance to a cryptid. Two flailing arms came into view as the creature now sprinting toward the car became more discernible. This frightened the driver, who sped out of the place without turning to look back. What do you think that was? A weird person running out of the forest? A Bigfoot? Or something far more sinister? Share your thoughts with us. And for our final footage, we've got this clip that shows two moons in the sky. Initially, it looked like just a moon and a star, but as the person zoomed in, you notice that the other smaller one was a crescent moon, but not as bright as the bigger one. This celestial mystery prompts a cascade of speculations and discussions amongst viewers, each grappling with the enigmatic nature of the phenomenon. The possibilities are as diverse as the interpretations, from atmospheric anomalies to potential celestial alignments. As we contemplate the celestial tapestry above, it becomes evident that the universe is an endless source of fascination and intrigue, always ready to challenge our understanding of the cosmos. And with that, we end today's episode. Thanks for staying with us. Before you go, are there popular trail cams that you've come across that you think we should absolutely feature on this channel? Please tell us in the comments section. And if you personally have the odd bit of footage you recorded yourself, you can forward it to us at classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. We'll do the needful analysis and include it in our next episode. We'll also give you credit unless you want to remain anonymous. We can't wait to receive your clips. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with friends and family. And we'll see you in the next one.